Hey everyone, Greg Taylor from Trinity Web Media. Hey, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show, catching us on Instagram TV, YouTube, wherever you're getting this content. So I appreciate you. I just had some random thoughts. I thought I would shoot it. I just got done at the, my local gym here and I'm in the car, obviously. So I want to talk about client feedback. You know, I had one of those meetings this morning where I thought we were on the right track, but listening to the client feedback about the experience and the product that we're building and everything... You know, it's obvious that we're not. So I wanted to talk a little bit about client feedback. How do you handle it? What do you do with it? And how do you move forward if you do choose to move forward? First of all, a client that voices feedback to you directly and in a consistent, timely manner is without a doubt the most valuable client you will ever encounter. Why? Because they're giving you an opportunity to listen. They're giving you an opportunity to make things better. They're giving you an opportunity to salvage things. Perhaps if things have gone really off track, they're giving you an opportunity to be better. 100%. I might have said that already, but that's going to be a theme here. So what do you do with their feedback? You know, in my mind, there are a couple of different paths. One, you could be closed-minded and not listen and have let the ego get in the way and let all of that interfere with your professional growth, your client relationship and everything. To me... That's not an option at all. <clears throat> Even if, you know, sometimes their feedback is going to be way off base and you have to reel it in a little bit. Still, like, disregarding it 100% is not an option and not a way that I suggest to go. Do what you want. Two, you can sit on it and think about it and not react to it. That's really difficult to do when somebody's giving you feedback, especially if you're the project manager or you're the business owner or you're the lead or you're the content creator. You know, there, there, there is an old adage that, you know, it's business, it's not personal. Well, Trinity Web Media and me, especially, I take everything that I do extremely personally. So while I understand that it's not a personal dig on me, I do internalize things because, you know, I do put a lot into what we do. So you can sit on the feedback, think about it, give an honest answer to it, you know, within yourself, and then go back to the client and say, I thought about things, here's where we are. The third thing is you can agree to take a course together to correct things, which is another thing where you can say, okay, I understand what you're saying. And don't bullshit, don't say that you understand what you're saying if you don't understand what they're saying. Don't, don't do that because that's just gonna lead you back actually to the path one, which is, which is not viable. So you can say, I understand what you're saying, I didn't think about things. This is what I'm willing to do to make things better. How does that sound? You know, and typically how I handle things is I like to handle things as a combination of two and three. <clears throat> One, I've been doing this long enough that I don't want to react to anything being said to me because an emotional reaction is not intellectual. It's from the heart, not the head. And I understand that sometimes whilst things may sting at the moment, you're going to be able to sit back and say, okay, you know what? I think they're right. When you can't do that if you have an emotional reaction. So emotion is good when you internalize things and you say, you know what? They are right. I'm going to make this better. I'm going to make this process better. And then part word number three comes in. It was where you can say, this is the corrective action that we are going to take to make sure that we, A, hear your feedback, acknowledge your feedback, empathize with the pain and the frustration that you're feeling, and then what we're gonna do to make it better. And then whatever you say to make it better, you have to deliver on that. Because a lot of times, you know, things are just get lost because of lack of delivery or under delivering, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how I handle client feedback. And to be honest with you, I received a bunch of client feedback today that prompted this video, and I'm gonna do exactly two and three. I've already sat back on the feedback, I've listened, I've sent out a document about what we're gonna do to correct the situation and going forward. So I hope this helps. You know, uh, if you have any questions about this, you can definitely email me or you can get at me at, uh, at grtaylor2 or taylor at Trinity Web Media. Hey, I appreciate you checking us out. You can get more bonus episodes of The New Marketing Show at trinitywebmedia.com slash podcast or wherever else you get your podcasts. Thanks.